seemed like uh, you had a number of guys uh, jump out a little bit. Uh, guys who, you know, we don't talk about a lot, but like Josiah Martin yeah. had a good, good day. Uh, Dean Taylor Chapman had a couple of nice touchdown runs. Can you talk about those guys and kind of what they're doing to try to keep themselves in the mix? Making the most of their chances. Uh, it's funny, when I was walking over here, I was writing down names that just, without watching the video that, that jumped out, and those two were two of the names I wrote down. You know, uh, DTC and Josiah made a bunch of catches. I don't know what the total was, but he showed up today. Uh, the Jet had a couple really nice runs. He had a long one on a third and short early, first or second series there, second series maybe. Um, but I, I think those guys, Aiden, he showed up at D-line. Eze at linebacker. Day-Day at DB. So a lot of young guys. So, yeah. So the Jet, can you talk about kind of where he's at now? He obviously went through a difficult deal at the end of last year. Oh, yeah, he's doing great. Yeah, he's doing great. Practicing every day and just focusing on getting better, getting stronger. What did you think about the uh, scrimmage overall? Oh, you know, um, not near as clean as we'd like it to be. And some good, you know, there's some plays that jumped out, some individual plays, like we mentioned the Jet. Um, you know, some good throws by the quarterbacks. Some individual tackles. Again, I, I know it's Eze three or four times. Aiden, Hunter made some stops. Day Day, uh, Crosby made a couple nice plays. Cam Sidney showed up. So uh, you see the individual plays. Uh, overall, the, the uh, situational football wasn't great, you know. Uh, that has to get better, just playing better football in those situations, backed up, uh, low red, into half, into game. And, you know, we, we'll get better at those. But uh, I think that was a thing that jumped out just big picture-wise we got to get got a lot better at. I don't know if I missed it, but I didn't see Odd or Callaway carry the ball. And yeah, Callaway, Callaway played. Early? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we, we need to we need those guys. Uh, Jaden, there's a couple guys that uh, were pulled for, you know, coach's decision, and that is based on, I mean, the sheer number of game snaps they've played. We're playing a lot of guys that haven't played as many game, game snaps. And so, um, yeah, that's... That's the, you know, everybody's treated fairly, but like we need to see some guys produce in game situations or game-like situations the best we can, and so we're giving them opportunities. So, but Jaden was held, uh, Craig was held, a couple guys, and then there was guys that have been out due to injury, and we got to get them back. How do you address situations like where um, Tron had that second TD of his and he got hammered by two guys in the end zone? When he's probably not ready to get like that. This type of uh, atmosphere. I mean, do you tell the guys you got to back off when it's not full go, or what do you do? What do you? Are you talking? What do you mean? Tron kept getting really hammered in the corner of the end zone here. Yeah. He's really shaken up by two guys. Yeah, we don't want to take blind shots, and we also learn how to have to learn how to play football and protect ourselves. It's a fine line. We, if it's uh, obviously a defenseless player, anything like that, we don't want to do in practice or in a game because you're going to get flagged for it. So we don't want to. Uh, we can't get 15-yard penalties for targeting and defenseless players, whether it's crack backs or. Uh, over the middle, and we also have to learn how to play with our pads down and absorb tackles and get the ball into the end zone. So I don't believe that play was flagged. Um, we don't, again, are we trying to, nobody's out here trying to hurt our teammates, and we also have to play physical. So it's a fine line. There is gray and what is appropriate and what's not. I think you know it when you see it. Um, but obviously we got to stay away from anything that's penalized. So. What do you think of the quarterbacks today? It looked like Looks like Fernando had a pretty good day. Yeah, I think uh, again m moments that you saw him moving the ball, and I mean ultimately, quarterback is judged on moving the offense down the field and putting the ball in the end zone, scoring points. And uh, I think they both had some some good moments today. They're, I thought Fernando had some really nice throws, and Chandler did some good things. And so, yeah, we'll we'll keep evaluating them off the tape and keep coaching them. You want to keep that thing going a while through through the fall. Through we the want to keep. Down. We want all of our players to keep improving. So quarterbacks, running backs, linemen, everybody. We want them all to keep getting better. So that's what we're that's what we're focused on right now.
We'll talk about the outside linebackers, Reese and Xavier, and what you expect from them in the fall. And they've been around now for a year, and they had some they obviously finished strong last year. But. Yeah, to take another step up and uh, play consistently at a high level. I thought we, we saw some real good play from them, as you mentioned, especially late, uh, and we need to see that. Week in, week out, that's what you're looking for. Are you seeing signs of that this spring? Yeah, I think both those guys are ready to take another step. I mean, uh, they're you know different styles of player, but X is a, a tough guy. He competes, and so uh, got to see him continue to develop. And Dave, uh, David, it's really the first year he played a full season, and so uh, you know understanding what that feels like and physically and mentally, I think that was important. Uh, we got to see him. He, he's done a fantastic job leadership-wise, taking ownership. He's a very serious guy about football, and so I uh, really like everything he's done this offseason. He's, uh, he's passionate about football. He's tough. He's competitive and preparing his body to play a full season and play at a high level. What have you thought of Aiden overall? Because uh, obviously he's coming into a position that feels pretty kind of settled or maybe deep uh, on the interior of the defensive line. Is the day like today kind of helping? I don't things? feel like it's settled or deep. And I'm glad Aiden's here. And I like I'm, I like the guys in the room, but we got to continue to get better there. I think Aiden, uh, he showed up today. I thought that he was noticeable. Any thoughts on the offensive line? Oh, yeah. so far? Uh, Coach Blush did such a great job with him, and the, you know, since the time he's been here, and I think that group's ready to take another step. Uh, you know, not, uh, you know, we know that that group can continue to get better, and we still got to add competitive uh, players to that room. And uh, again, you know, they work really hard at it, take, take a lot of pride in it, and, and we still, we can be much better than we are. Uh, with DTC's emergency hospital with six capable running backs, how do you even begin to divide up the snaps in the game? Situation? Yeah, but I, yeah, I got. I think there's a lot to be determined yet. You know, we've seen Jaden play uh, at this level in games and and produce. And uh, Jaden, you know, we are going to count on to produce consistently. And uh, you know, it, for him, I, I know that's what he wants to play at a high level week in and week out. Um, you know, the the other guys we. There's some uncertainty there, so I don't know that there is. You know, we we like the talent in there. There's some really uh, talented guys, and we're really glad they're on the team. But we still got to prove that we can do that week in and week out uh, at this level. You know, in in conference, in non-conference, and conference play when when we're playing for real. The portal opens on Monday. Yep. Uh, how soon do you expect to be active, and what are some maybe spots you guys? Well, there's got already guys in it, right? Because you got the grads and. Um, It'll be fast and furious, and we'll be very active in it. Yeah. Any positions or any spots that you're? We're going to evaluate in? anybody that can help us. Uh, anybody that can help us win, we're going to evaluate and uh, in, engage with once that portal opens. Yeah. Uh, procedurally, and originally there was forecasted to rain today. I was curious with your like planned itinerary. Would you have like done some rain-style scenarios if it actually was raining for practice today with like buckets and everything? Uh, what do you mean rain style scenarios? Like, you know, like you just get the you just ball in the bucket, get it wet, get it ready to go. For if it was raining, we were just going to scrimmage. It. And if it wasn't raining, we were going to scrimmage. Uh, yeah, if the wind kidding. blew, we were going to scrimmage. Yeah. If we had an eclipse, we would have scrimmaged. Blizzard, scrimmage, hail, scrimmage. Okay. Uh, heat wave, scrimmage. They would throw us out for lightning. <laughs> so we couldn't have scrimmaged in lightning. But everything else... We were going to scrimmage. There's a blizzard. You got bigger problems blizzard. than scrimmaging, right? Yeah. I, know, I, mean, we, I think our first spring here, we had the hailstorm. Do you yeah. do you remember that? Yeah. Well, I'm kind of hoping for one of those. I just, you know. Why not? Right? But, yeah, we were going to play play it as it went. So, yeah. We'll, we will in the fall. There's times when we'll use the, the bucket wet ball mechanics. Uh, but we weren't looking for it. But if it came up. We're gonna go for it. Growing up in Oregon, weather gives you a warm sense of things. Like yeah, I mean, yeah. Wet ball mechanics was just football. Yeah, every day. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right.